Give me some Anna. Hold on, Panny Rope and pull it. Hey, boy, what's that? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, ah! You look like a cat! Michael, first, first man. First time there, you know, guys, you know, it's like this time, bad man. Go on, quick, quick, go in, quick. We're there again for another video. Me and Claude there. Claude there, sir. Yes, sir. We're there on another crocodile infested water location. I don't know why the location them always say crocodile, but that them say if it's dead, that means they're dead here. So, yeah, we could get started now. This is it. Yes, sir. You know, so I always want to see one of, every time we come do video in you know, one of them crocodile infested water, I always want to see one of them out of them habitat. Come, I always see them in the zoo, but pssst, as soon as I'm here, nothing, or nobody, them just, you know. Yeah, no. All of the information they are for making today news, curfew reportedly got imposed in section of Waterford St. Catherine. Bodies of elderly couple find with gunshot wound in the area of St. Thomas. So welcome to the Sky TV, my new viewers. How are you doing, my subscribing family? Definitely feel free to drop a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video so it can be promoted to more law-abiding citizens right across the beautiful country and the world itself. People, a pleasant holiday to you all and I hope you guys and girls have a wonderful and a pleasant day in spite of everything that is reportedly taking place. So listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about curfew imposing section of Waterford St. Catherine. St. Catherine, Jamaica, a curfew has been imposed in sections of Waterford in the St. Catherine South Division. The curfew began at 6 p.m. Thursday, April 14th and will remain in effect until 6 p.m., Saturday, April 16th. The boundaries of the curfew are as follows, north along an imaginary line about 148 meters from the western boundary near the intersection of Adair Drive with Caymanaz Drive to the train line at the Dyke Road, east along the Dyke Road from the train line at the northern boundary to the intersection with Passage Fort Drive. South along Passage Fort Drive from the intersection with Dyke Road to the Caymanaz Park Wall at the western boundary. West along an imaginary line about 179 meters from Passage Fort Drive running parallel along the Caymans Park Wall to the northern boundary. During the hours of the curfew, people within the boundaries of the curfew are required to remain within their premises unless otherwise authorized in writing by the ground commander. Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. So welcome or welcome back my wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family as police ongoing their terror investigation with the curfew that they reportedly imposed in section of Waterford St. Catherine. Any illegal firearm finder, any bad boy caught, definitely no say the Panda channel as a viral exclusive content. Really informative, really engaging and we always make you know how it really go in a real life. People who moving on to the next topic now. Listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about bodies of elderly couple find with gunshot wound in the area of St. Thomas. The bodies of a 68-year-old man and 53-year-old woman were found in St. Thomas on Thursday. The deceased has been identified as Owen Francis, otherwise called RAS Ology and Dolores Boyd, affectionately known as Nana B. Reports are that at about 2.30 p.m., police were called to an area close to the Three Finger Jack Monument in 11 miles, where the bodies of the two people were found close to their roadside shack, with gunshot wounds. Sources report that the bodies were discovered by a friend who went to visit the couple. Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family definitely drop an RIP or a condolence down below. Any and every information reported pop up on social media as time goes on, definitely know that me have more information on what is really taking place with the two elderly body that reportedly find in the area of St. Thomas. People, in spite of everything, have a wonderful and a blessed and a progressive holiday in spite of everything that is taking place right across the beautiful island. And you see, if you want to find the full video of the crocodile incident, yeah, People, you can find it on Vogue Boss channel.